the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video uh, rectangular pathways uh, part 1 let us see how we can teach the concept of uh, rectangular pathways uh, here assume that you have a total area of a b C D with A B as the length of the field and A C as the width of the field. Now I am interested in a plantation area inside the field and also lay a pathway surrounding the plantation area. Let us uh, make a pathway on the right side of the field so fold the paper vertically on the right side of the field uh, and mark that line and then mark that point as uh, EF now what is the pathway on the right side of the field that is the rectangular shape with the length side as BD and the width as EB. Now this is also a rectangle and we call this as the rectangular pathway on the right side of the field. Similarly, let us have a pathway on the left side of the field. So, fold the paper on the left side of the field. Now we have created a small uh, rectangle. Now let us mark that line and also mark that points as GH. Now, on the left side, our pathway is rectangular in shape with the length AC and the width AG okay now let us create a pathway on the top side of the field so what we do we fold the paper at that side uh, and make a pathway now uh, mark that uh, line okay and uh, call that uh, as uh, p and q okay so now we have a rectangle on the top side of the field with the total length as a b and uh, the width as a p so A, B, P, Q is a rectangle. Now similarly E, B, F, T is a rectangle. Now A, G, C, H is a rectangle. Now similarly we make a pathway at the lower side of the field we fold the paper in such a way that we make another rectangle and let us connect this line okay now mark this as or yes okay now at the lower side of the field we have formed a rectangle now with the sides R S as the length which is equivalent to C D and then R C as the width which is equal to S D. So let us repeat the procedure. We have an outer rectangle that is A B C D. Then we have a rectangular pathway on the top side of the field that is A B P Q. We have a rectangular pathway on the lower side of the field that is 
R, S, C, D. Similarly, we have a rectangular pathway on the right side that is E, B, F, D. And then we have a rectangular pathway on the left side that is A, G, C, H. Now, what have we got now? We have the inner field, inner rectangle, that is the actual plantation area. So, let us call the inner field as M, N, O and X. M, N, O, X. So, we have the inner plantation area with the side M N as the length and the width as M O. M O is equal to N X. M N is equal to O X. Now, when we talk about the rectangular pathway, we have to talk about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 boxes. Now each box has a measurement. Now the rectangular pathway on the top side is calculated by adding the area of AGPM, GEMN and EBNQ. Similarly, the rectangular pathway on the bottom side is obtained by adding the areas of ROCH, OXHF and XSFD. And uh, if you have to find out the entire uh, pathway, then we have to add the other two rectangles also on the right side and uh, left side. That is P M R O N Q X S. Suppose we go the other way. We take the pathway on the right side and pathway on the left side. So what we do? We add E B N Q N Q X S X S F D. On the left side A G P M. P M R O R O C H and then add G E M N and O X H F. That means the rectangular pathway is calculated by leaving the overlapping areas when you calculate lengthwise or widthwise. This is one of the ways of calculating the rectangular pathway.